Hey guys, Shane here, Echo Soundworks. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool feature inside of Logic X, Logic 10, that you probably don't even know exists. We're gonna be looking at how you can slip audio inside of Logic. Now, I wanted to do this video because I have seen on almost any form I've ever come across on if you can do this in Logic and how to do it, the answer is always, you can't. And I don't know why that is, even on like Apple's form, like Apple's actual form for Logic. But you can, I do it all the time. So slipping audio is a really helpful feature or workflow when you want to get creative with a loop, chop something up, or I use it all the time for vocal chops and tweaking and chopping drum loops, right? So the idea is pretty simple. You want to basically scrub through a longer section or ball, like let's say you have a four bar loop of audio and you've chopped it up to just be two bars. And you wanna see what happens if you take, you know, bar one or bar three or bar four and scrub, kind of basically scrub through that without changing your actual audio region and where it is in your timeline and in your range window, right? So it doesn't affect where it plays back in your track or your mix. So let's check this out inside of Logic 10 and see how it works. All right, so we're inside of Logic right now and we have a, I have a demo pulled up that is unfinished and I have been working on a drop section. I want some type of vocal chop, but I don't want a vocal chop taking up the entirety of the drop. I just want it kind of coming in and out. And that's that purple track you see right here. So this is a vocal chop that I played in uh, via uh, EXS24, I believe, put on some samples. And now I kind of want to change it, you know, change that vibe up. And the slip feature is a great tool for this. It's actually a great way to create vocal chops from scratch. So what I've done is I've just chopped up the audio, right? Uh, at different points where I want audio occurring or I want a hit happening rhythmically because it goes with the you know rest of the groove or the bass or the chords. So keeping that in mind, I gave myself more content than I'll probably need when it's all said and done. It's just nice to have more options, you know, rather than a limited set of options. So let's check out this demo real quick. All right, so the audio slip feature is really cool, especially for working with vocal chops or reordering drum loops, et cetera. So the idea is really simple. I, I touched on this in the intro, but now you have something visually. Let's say I want to see what happens with this audio right here. What happens when it occurs right there, right? Well, typically the, the way you'd do that would be to you know hold down alt or option on your keyboard and move that around, copy and paste it, right? Or let's say you wanted to change the length of this and then you know duplicate something or or see what happens if you change the length of this to here and then have the audio extend that back to there right you're always moving stuff around your in your range and it can get a little bit confusing and it's not the most intuitive way to do it so slipping basically allows you to create anchor points which is just the audio region right so this was one audio file that i then just chopped up with my scissor tool so just hit escape i and chop it up how you want so each chop becomes a new anchor with the slip function and then what you can do is keep your audio there and you can join things together and you know, do what you'd normally do with the audio editing process. So to get to this, just hit F on your keyboard and you you just want to go to your browser, right? Your project browser. So see how this, this ethno bit merged, this was the whole file. And then here are the subsequent chops under it, right? So what I can do now is I can go through this and let's say I don't like this part. So this note right here. Let's say I want to have different audio play, but I like where that's playing rhythmically. What I can do is just click on that. You see that highlights over here. Hover over this audio until I see the two arrows. And then I can just click and drag this and move it around. And wherever I stop, that audio will now appear right there. Right, so that's a slight subtle change. So let's go to this section here at bar 27. Actually, let's get this one. All right, so I'm going to click on that one again. And we can see that we're right here in the audio file. And let me go into the end because I have some different notes in the ending section. So let's just take this note right here. All 
All right, so that's pretty cool. Now, the only annoying thing is you can't do a uh, vertical zoom on this. So it would be nice if you could, so you could zoom in and see the, the transients of the waveforms a little bit clearer. But you can always tighten that up in the range. So here's a different, different feeling than we had before. Right, there's a little bit of syncopation there. So I can actually go in and tighten this up if I want. So we can go and we'll just trim this up. But it's a great way to find new, you know, new ideas with the audio that you already have you know, in place in your track. So I'll be a little bit tired. So let's check that out. Right, so it's just a repeat. Now we can go and be like, ah, I don't like that at all. You go do it again, right? So just click on that file and we can just, again, click and drag into it and change that material. So that is how you can access an audio slip feature inside of Logic 10. If you guys have ever wondered if that is something that you can do and you saw those forms like I did, you know, that, that I uh, made fun of a little bit in the intro and you're like, well, crap, I can't do it. Well, you can do it. It's right here. It's a really great tool to have at your disposal. If you guys have any questions or comments, post those below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please hit that like and subscribe button. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.